I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on inequalities. Now in this playlist, you will find many examples where we will have inequalities. That means either greater than equal to or greater than or less than or less than equal to signs. So here is an example which involves absolute function. So we have the question for you as 4 is less than absolute value x minus 3, which is less than 5. Now when we say solve, we want possible values of x, and we are saying x belongs to real numbers, right? So that is what an inequality is there for you to solve. Let's see how to find solution of such an inequality. Now to begin with, we'll actually try to understand what this absolute function is. Right, so uh, within the absolute, we are given x minus 3. Now that could be equal to x minus 3 or minus of x minus 3, depending on in which domain you are working. Now, if x is greater than 3, right, if x is greater than 3, or we can say equal to, greater than equal to, then it will be positive. But if it is less than 3, in that case, we can take negative value. And that also could be our answer, right? So I hope you get the concept. So that really means that we have to solve this inequality in two cases, right? So we have case one and we have case two, okay? We have two cases. Now in case one, let us say that x is less than three. And in case two, we are saying x is greater than or equal to three. So if x is less than 3, then the whole inequality can be written as 4 is less than minus of x minus 3, less than 5. And if x is greater than 3, then the inequality will be written as 4 is less than x minus 3, which is less than 5. Does it make sense to you? So that is the foundation. So whenever you have absolute inequality, you have to always split it into two parts and then solve. Does make sense to you? Perfect. Let's do the right side first, which is much simpler. We need to find what x could be. 4 is, I mean, x minus 3 is greater than 4 and less than 5. So we should add 3 to all of them, right? So if I add 3, in that case, what happens? We get 4 plus 3 as 7, right? Here x and here we get 5 plus 3 is 8. So we get a solution which is x is between 7 and 8. We know x has to be greater than 3. So they are valid solutions, correct? So on a number line, think like this. On a number line, we were looking for solutions which were greater than 3. And we got two solutions on this side which is between 7 and 8, right? Both are not included, so we'll show it like this, right, on our number line. Now let us see on the right, left side, what is the situation. Now since this is negative, I'll first multiply by negative, so it becomes minus 4, sign changes, minus 5. Does it make sense? So whatever is in between is greater than minus 5 and less than minus 4. It makes sense. So we'll again add 3. So we get minus 4 plus 3 is greater than x minus 3 plus 3. You could write like this, minus 5 plus 3, correct? Now minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1, and this is x, and here you get minus 2. So basically, while working on the other side, which is less than 3, we found two solutions, which is between minus 2 and minus 1. Do you see that? So this happens to be at minus 2 and minus 1. So that becomes a solution. Both are less than 3, so both are solutions. So therefore, the solution of this particular inequality should be what? So we get the solution as, let me rewrite here, solution. 
So it is between minus 1 and minus 2, right? So we'll write it from minus 2 to minus 1, both not included, union 7 to 8. Does make sense? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. And on a number line, the solution is shown like this. So we can use a bracket like this, means these two values are not included, right? And here will be 7, 8. Perfect. So that is how we will solve this inequality. I hope it is understandable. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.